<laughs> I can't get your face out there. <laughs> Well, come here. Come see who it is. It's the baby. So you want me to come home? The baby. It's good. So do I. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. Yeah, well, Grandpa will get the baby. <laughs> Come see who it is! Caterbug, come You left Grandpa! He sent you a big present. Come here. Look! Yeah, you better open it up. Here, I'll hold your... You open it up. Is it just a book? Nope, it's a big, big present. Oh, here's what you're doing the scissors. I put them over there. Hold on. Good boy. What do you think it is? No. Should we open it up and see? Yeah. It's a desk. It's not. Okay, hold on. Okay, pull the flaps open. Pull these open. Pull them hard. Daddy! <laughs> Hi! Hey! Hi! <laughs> Hi! Daddy! Hey! Daddy! Who's here? Daddy! <laughs> hey, buddy! Hi! How are you? Good. I set my... He probably wants a little rocking. Huh? He probably wants some rocking. There's a shirt over it I couldn't find last week. Okay. He probably Listen, spit it out. You never did send me a copy of the picture where Philip and Jonathan sat in my lap. I've God, I told you. 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 John, did I tell you? Did I tell you, John? I didn't try to hurt you when I threw you down. Oh, Lord. Oh, I have you, sticker. Oh, my bunch of you. I can't go there, don't you? Oh, I'll get you. Take that time. Let me get my old daughter over here. <laughs> oh. Hey, darling. I got rid of you. I hurry, didn't I? I'm sorry. Hey, darling. Let me want you back. I'm going to get this over first. Did you something good for your birthday? You look so bad. I got you. That's why I want it. I'm here. See that picture right there? I got I look at it all day. i tell you what. Oh, God, you look good. I get smoke from you. <laughs> Imagine. Happy birthday, Jenny. Okay. Well, I would, you know, I don't know, call me a radical, but I'd assume it's potentially a birthday present. Possibly. Okay, well. It could be a dead bird. It could be. I guess there's a way to find out. I don't know. Or we could guess. Uh, we can guess. <laughs> you almost had blood arrows in there. I got suffocated. What are you doing? I got I got lost going down to Afghanistan. He escaped. He escaped. <laughs> yeah. Mom, look at the camera. Look at her, she's crying. <laughs> Are you kidding? We have to share this with everybody on Saturday. Uh.
What are you doing? I'm home on leave. Come on, on out, John. Come on out. Stop that. Are you getting the clues? I want to see this on Saturday. Uh, so <laughs> with Tommy, <laughs> when was Tommy? Oh, that's enough. That's enough. When was all this planned? That's good. Oh, I've been going for about a month and a half now. reunion last night when a 10 year old Henry Denis came off the ice after a flag ceremony before a hockey game and he was surprised you hear that scream he's surprised by his dad home from Iraq earlier Colonel Rick Denis surprised their 13 year old daughter the Washington Capitals helped arrange this entire thing I could watch this like you guys I know over and that <laughs> okay, I need it's a tissue. I am way too emotional. And then, <laughs> wow. I know. The screen. It's great, oh. isn't it? 11-year-old Emily Anderson and her 17-year-old sister Caitlin have been without their dad for the past 10 months while he's been stationed in Iraq. They thought he wasn't coming home for another two months. But today, they got a very special surprise while they were in school. For the better part of a year, Sherry Anderson and her five daughters have been without her soldier husband, Jeremy, a helicopter mechanic with the 834th Aviation Unit. He actually missed their graduation. In they graduated in prom and um, moving them to college. He got out of that, too. <laughs> Sherry and Jeremy initially told all their daughters that he would be deployed for a year in the hopes of surprising them with an early return. We all kind of found out, and she was mad about it, but <laughs> we helped her out, so we were sniffing and figuring it out. Darn! I can't keep any secrets. No. <laughs> she, she's a good. 
House full of girls, you can't keep any secrets. <laughs> the older three became part of the plot to surprise their younger sisters. Monday, Sherry drove to Fort Hood, Texas to pick up Jeremy and then back to Tulsa in time to surprise Emily at Haskell Middle School. So where's Emily Anderson at? Now this husband and father is home just in time for the holidays. Just being away and knowing that, you know, you can't be there for special little events and stuff like that that they're doing and, you know, something breaks, you know, out there to fix it. With almost his entire family reunited, there's just one more stop for Sergeant Anderson to make. A visitor for you all for your Thanksgiving story. Come on in. Oh, oh my God. God. At Broken Arrow High School to surprise his daughter, Caitlin. I was really shocked. Like, I didn't know he was coming till two months, so it was amazing. Anderson's unit doesn't have any immediate plans to deploy again, so he'll also be spending the Christmas holiday with them as well. Reporting from Broken Arrow, Casey Roebuck, 2 News Works for you.